What's going on everybody? Jada Black here. I am back with another video. You know, I want to talk about this BS that is going on right now. It's the start of football season, the best time of the year. The weather is better. better. Uh, you know, the TV programming is better if you're still watching TV. And sports is definitely better around this time of the year because not only do you have football season, but basketball season starts up in October. So, I just feel like this is one of the main reasons why I watch less and less ESPN. Because you have women like Michelle Beadle, who you can tell doesn't even watch football anyway. Who's talking about how she's no longer watching football, she's boycotting it because they don't care. In her words, they don't care about what... Uh, women and people of color that's what she said even though football has made millionaires and have gotten college degrees for those said black men of color but see when you're a white liberal feminist you're always attacking anything that men are successful at that women aren't and because there is no successful female football league or the it's not an intergender football league, it doesn't fit your narrative. And this is one of the reasons why people are not watching ESPN because they allow shit like this. ESPN is paying the NFL a lot of money. They're, they're paying the NFL a lot of money to air their games. They're paying college football a lot. And they've done hit pieces on college football. And I and I say to them, I know you, you have to, you know, have journalist journalism and journalistic integrity. You know, you're reporting. I understand that. But when you continuously attack a product that you're paying to post on your platform, it's it does it's not a good look when the people, especially the women, because it you don't really hear the men on their platform going at the NFL the, or the uh, college football is usually these females, okay? Jamel Hill less and less, but now Michelle Beadle. Now, you got a couple of guys. Like, I think um, on first take, they do a lot of attacking of the NFL, and that's why no one's watching first take like that, you know? And that's why Fox Sports is better. You know, even though Shannon Sharp can be unbearable to watch at times, I would rather watch Fox Sports than watch – uh, the product that's going to ESPN And by the way the, This show The Get Up Totally sucks It really does It's almost like They feel like Michelle Beadle is, They want to make her the face of ESPN Because she's a part of their NBA coverage And she's also on this show as well And this is, this is not the right person you want As your face Because what's going to happen is The NFL is going to talk to you People who represent the uh, uh College, college football is going to talk to you and they're going to want to ask you ESPN why are you allowing bashing of a product that you're paying billions of dollars for on your network why are you allowing this and I think the ESPN also you know um, Disney which is overall but I'm just going to focus on ESPN because they have their own leadership there you know it's very interesting they allow this um, but that lets you know the type of mentality that, that is prevalent at ESPN you had a woman who tried to sue uh, ESPN because she said the, the atmosphere was toxic for women. But Michelle Beadle has not uttered one word about that said toxic uh, environment at ESPN. That speaks volumes. Okay. I believe the people who are running ESPN don't care about ESPN. They're just there to draw a check. And if it doesn't work out there, they know they can go somewhere else. You know, the people who actually cared about ESPN and its product aren't there anymore. Look at their t TV shows. Look at the documentation that the document doc documentation documentaries they put out. Look at the type of people that they hire. And I, I have to say this, though. Um, I may have my differences with Carrie Champion. She is not this vocal on their platform, maybe outside of it. But Michelle Beadle was one of those women who think because she used to look good seven, eight years ago and because she's a white female that she can say whatever she want on TV. 
People want to talk about white privilege. There's no bigger privilege than being a white feminist female on TV because whenever you get fired or when people tell you to calm down, all you can say is you're being sexist. You don't care about women and people of color. I'm tired of these feminazis hiding behind black people, hiding behind non-white people because that's what they do. And let me tell you something, Michelle Beadle. This season is going to go on without Colin Kaepernick. It's going to go on whether you're protesting or not. The NFL put something in place they should have put in place a long time ago. But that speaks volumes about the leadership. And let me say this about the NFL. The NFL saw this coming. You got 32 NFL owners. You got a lot of rich men who are, you know, they know they know their politics. OK, they, have, they probably have a few politicians in their pocket. You don't tell you don't think that they knew that this was something like this could happen with all these concussion stories and a movie being made about it. This is why they started to expand into the UK. This is why they are uh, doing games in Mexico, expanding their revenue because they knew that something like this could happen to where you have all these TV networks attacking them all at once. You have these SJWs. You got the uh, the Michelle Beadle types, okay, who are losing ESPN money. You know, ESPN made now, now ESPN still makes a lot of money, but not on TV. I think a lot more of their money is being made online, and they may think they can they can be okay and allow their hosts to say whatever. But this is what's interesting, like. Say what you want about Jamel Hill. There's a lot about Jamel Hill I don't like. She never went at the NFL on TV. Michelle Beadle is attacking the NFL live on TV. She's attacking the sport of football live on TV. Okay. So at least Jamel Hill respected ESPN enough to not go full Michelle Beadle and just say whatever comes to mind because you know there are not going to be any repercussions. Now, maybe she's not going to be at ESPN very long. Maybe she's just saying this because she knows she's on her way out. They could find a lot more, uh, more talented women who are more professional and who are more attractive to be on their TV. Because trust me, she right now is not doing it. No one's watching that show. Mike, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike Greenberg. He he looks so uncomfortable on that show. It's ridiculous. They're trying to make that show cool for for like uh, young teenage, you know, uh, them like the them the teenage demographic. I will say from eighteen to thirty four year olds. They're trying to make a show for the eighteen and thirty four year olds, and they're not even watching. The only show on ESPN that people are still watching steadily is First Take. Okay, and even they have to put gimmicks on to make the show relevant. But no one is seriously watching ESPN they, the way they did five years ago. And I think the decline happened when they got political, when they started firing conservatives to make it a safe space for people who vote DNC. Because when you have people like her on your platform, it brings down the product. Okay. This is the same woman who actually left ESPN to go work for, I believe, Access Hollywood. And that failed. And, and she couldn't do that. And she went crawling back to ESPN. Okay? See, her mentality towards everything is why she's single. And if she does have a, uh, if she is dating, she's dating somebody who she probably doesn't respect. Who she just wants to be with because she doesn't want to be lonely and it wouldn't surprise me at all if he's the, the complete opposite of her politically because don't get it twisted you have a lot of women who may be feminists but they will date a guy who's a conservative they will don't let the the, the different hair colors fool you don't let the you know walking around and in 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 pants suits all day you know don't let that sway you you know michelle beetle she she says one thing but i think that you know privately it may be different 
I don't think that Michelle, from the photos I've seen of Michelle Beadle, she doesn't, I don't think she has any black friends, but she wants to speak for people of color, quote unquote. How can you speak for people of color when you're not even around people of color? The only time, only time you're around people who ain't white is when you're at ESPN. But I highly doubt in her inner circle that there's anybody who's non-black in it. And if it is, it's probably somebody biracial or somebody who's Hispanic. To me, she seems like she makes inward jokes all the time. She just seemed like that type to to talk about, you know, you know, being cool and being loving, caring about but, but she probably the same one that will call somebody the N-word behind their back. She seems like that type. And that's what you have with a lot of these lame stream, you know, idiots who want to speak for a group of people that they don't even know. Michelle Beadle has probably never been to a black neighborhood. <laughs> she probably doesn't even like food that are made by black people. She just seems like that type, man. She seems like the type to come from a family full of people who don't even like black people. But she wants to speak for people of color. How can you speak for people of color when you've probably never been around them? And oh yeah, by the way, I don't think she's ever dated a black man ever. But she wants to sit here and talk about people of color and who doesn't care about who. Michelle, I don't think you care about yourself, okay? Because you seem like the type of person who acts one way when the cameras are on, but when the cameras are off, you're completely different. You just give me that type of vibe. And let me tell you something. Don't let the tomboy, you know, sports loving chick thing fool you, okay? That's just a way for chicks like this to infiltrate certain groups of men and then spew out their stupid ideology. So, let me know what you think in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.